the last video we talked about the Moody's chart. Now let's see how to read it. Uh, we always need to calculate first Reynolds number. Identify the type of flow. So recall before the 2000 limit it's laminar. So instead of using the Moody's diagram, I will recommend you to use this formula right here. It's more exact and it's easier and you don't need to look in the diagram. Avoid this region of transient state and turbulent flow. So this is 10 to the 5. Okay. Uh, and if they tell you it's complete turbulent, you will need to calculate the relative roughness, which is epsilon divided by the diameter. The, di the I diameter, you will probably have it. And this value is depending on the material. So find the point of intersection and then make an horizontal line to find the friction factor. So for example, check. Okay. This has a Reynolds number of this, this has a Reynolds number of this one, this has a Reynolds number of this, and this has a Reynolds number of almost 10 to the 8. This is 2 times 10 to the 6, this is about 2.5 to 10 times 10 to the 5, and this is about 10 to the 4, okay? These are actually the same pipe, as you can see, relative roughness is the same. The only thing that changed it was the Reynolds number. This is other pipe with this relative roughness, and this is other pipe with this relative roughness, okay? So, if you wanted to know, you already located the point in which relative roughness intersect with your Reynolds number. The only thing you need to do is draw horizontal straight line to the left, and you will find your friction factor. So, for example, this one, two, three, four. For one, you will say it's about 0 0.06. For two, maybe 0 0.055. For three, you could say 0 0.032. And for this number four, you could say it's 0 0.025. And that's it, guys. Let me show you an exercise. Now I'm going to tell you what type of problem you will encounter. They will tell you find the friction factor for a diameter or a pipe which has a diameter of one centimeter. We are using stainless steel. The relative roughness is. 0.1 millimeter, and they tell you to calculate the friction factor for these Reynolds values. So I calculate this and divided by diameter, I got this value of relative roughness. Okay, and this is laminar because it's before the 2000 line, this is transient because it's past 2000 and before 10 to the 5, and this is turbulent. So we will expect to know how to calculate the friction factor for each type of flow. So first things first, Reynolds at 640 will be something around here. Go here, it's something about 0 0.08. Okay. Note that if we use the formula, which I will highly recommend, will be 60 divided by 640, and you get 0 0.10 instead of 0 0.8. So it's something around here. It's curious. I will actually prefer to use this one, but it depends on you. Do you want to use the Moody diagram or do you want to use the formal definition? Whatever you choose, be consistent, because if you are changing, you will always have different results. Good, for the transient turbulent, we already calculated the relative roughness, which was 0 0.01, so this line will govern the value. So we cannot go out of this line. If I, if I choose this number, it's wrong. If I choose this, it's wrong. I can only choose in the red line. Good, for the transient case, Reynolds equals 2500. Well, so I find this is the Reynolds number and this is transient region. Yeah, you could say it's about 0 0.055 or 54. But this is tricky. I'm pretty sure it's not true and I, it's not reliable. So I will tell the experimenter to increase the velocity in order to increase the Reynolds number. And finally, but not least, turbulent case in which Reynolds number equals 10 to the 5 is here. So we have 10 to the 5 Reynolds here. We go up until we crash here, and then we do our vertical line to the left. And something around, yeah, actually we have it here, a little bit less than 0 0.04. 
So I choose it to be 0.039, okay? Nice, let's analyze the results. Same pipe means same material, same roughness, and same diameter. Therefore, this red line, remember guys, I told you that we will be on this red line is because we already set the definition of the pipe, okay? When we change the Reynolds number, well, you can see at low Reynolds number, you will have higher friction or factor friction. At very high Reynolds number, you will have about 39 versus this number, 0 0.05. Oh. Mm, well, we either have a mixture or so on. Can continue. So, recall the Reynolds numbers are right here. And recall the friction factors. I prefer using these ones right here. So as you can see, as Reynolds number increases in general, the friction factor decreases. So you can see 600 has 0.08, 2000 has 0.054, 10 no 100,000 has 0.039. So as the Reynolds number increases the friction factor decreases and I let you the question of why you should know by now this was a free preview you want to get full access go to my incompressible flow course the link is in the description of the video you will get all access not only that you get a very straightforward uh, user-friendly interface so for instance you were analyzing or studying pumps you have it here the pump block and then you have the sections if you're for example studying the types of pumps you can go here and you have all the classes right here not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these so for instance if you were studying positive displacement pumps the video is right here if you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.